Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want to share with you a grafting method that hardly anyone is doing, but it's actually super effective. This technique has a few big advantages. First, it creates a wide contact area between the cambium layers of the scion and the rootstock, so the graft takes really well. Second, even if the scion is slightly thicker than the rootstock, it still works. And third, the process is so simple, anyone can do it, even if you're totally new to grafting. Now, usually with grafting, the key is to align the cambium, the growing layer just under the bark. But in this method, we take it a step further by wrapping the scion around the rootstock, making a full 360 degree connection. To do it, you just peel the bark of the rootstock, kind of like peeling a banana, and then shave the scion flat. That's it. Even a little bit of cambium contact is enough for the graft to succeed, so you don't need perfect precision. It's one of the easiest methods out there, but not many people know about it. And at the end of this video, I'll show you two things. One, how the graft looked just 26 days later, and two, what the tree looked like seven months after grafting fully grown and thriving. For this demo, I used a mango tree, but this method works on almost any fruit tree, so definitely give it a try. So, what exactly is grafting? Grafting is a way to join two different plants, usually by attaching a shoot or a bud to a new root system. They grow together and become one single plant. If you grow from seed, you get variation. But with grafting, you can clone your favorite trees exactly as they are. It's the best way to make sure your fruit trees have all the traits you want. What I love about grafting is how it's like a nutritional partnership. Even though the rootstock and scion are genetically different, they support each other. The rootstock sends water and nutrients up, and the scion sends sugars and energy down, both doing their part to keep the tree healthy. And here's the thing. The rootstock matters just as much as the scion. It can affect how well your tree handles heat or cold, how it grows in different soils, how resistant it is to pests and diseases, and even how big or small it stays. Plus, grafting is perfect for trees that are hard to grow from cuttings or seeds. You can even revive an old or weak tree by grafting new roots. And there's this cool technique called joint grafting where the entire top of the tree is replaced to boost productivity. So if you've never tried grafting before, this is your sign, go for it. I grow fruit trees here in Japan and I love sharing tips and techniques like this. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and happy grafting.